Now we're going to learn some more about printing. Uh, so in Rust, uh, there are a number of ways to print the way the way you want your output to look. Uh, one uh, one first thing to know is that uh, you have these uh, escape characters. For example, you have a backslash t if you want to tab and backslash n <clears throat> to make a new line. And note that this is print, not print line. But uh, because you have uh, this n in here, this is going to make a new line. And you can see that uh, the playground recognizes this. It, uh, it's giving it a different color here. It's blue here, and then here as well is blue. So it knows that these are, that these are, uh, this is extra information, uh, and you don't want to actually print out the, uh, the slash n. So you can see down here, it starts with a tab and then this moves it to uh, to a new line <clears throat> and uh, when you're printing without um, without any of these it will also uh, rest will recognize when you move to a new line so you can print over over multiple lines and it'll include these spaces so when you when you start a quote here and end the quote here it'll it'll recognize that you have a new line, so you don't have to uh, think about that. But uh, you want to make sure that you don't, uh, you don't print it like this, because then it will move to a new line, and then it'll look at all these blank spaces, and uh, you can see all the blank spaces there. So when you have a, uh, a new line like this, you want to make sure that it's right on the, on the left side of the screen. And then uh, back to the uh, to the escape characters. There we go. So let's say you want to print slash t. This is what you do. Or if you want to print the t, I mean. So there you go. So these. Um, yeah, this back this uh, backslash is if you want uh, Rust to ignore the uh, the thing that comes after, which is the uh, the slash t. So then it'll just treat it like uh, anything any other character in a string. And then uh, the next is um, so sometimes you will have like a um, like a whole bunch of weird characters in your in your string, and you don't want to specify every time you know ignore this and ignore this and then maybe they'll have some other characters like uh you know extra double quotes or single quotes and then you know rest is getting confused with uh with what you're trying to tell it to print so in that case you're going to use a raw string and it looks like that let's make this a bit smaller Ooh. so you can see this example here um, is, uh, you know, using the the backslash to escape. So you have, uh, you know, if you want it to ignore a double quote, you put a slash in front of there, and then uh, and then you have this uh, this address here, and then every slash is going to think that, uh, you know, this slash has a certain meaning, but you want it to ignore this. You want it to just print the slash. So to do that, you need a double slash. So you uh, you slash to escape the slash basically, and you end up having all these double double slashes and then slashes in front of uh, double quotes, and it gets kind of ugly. So to, uh, to get around that, the best way to do it is you have an R, which means raw, raw string, and then you put this, uh, this, uh, this pound sign here. You start with a pound sign, and then you also end with a pound sign to show that the the raw the raw string is uh, is finished. So this will print uh, the exact same two times. So you can see it looks exactly the same down here, but uh, you know for the person reading the string, this is a lot easier, and you don't have to look at all these double slashes. And then um, you might wonder, well, what if you know if it starts with a with a with a pound and ends with a pound. What if I want to print something with a pound sign inside of it? And what you do is you uh, you just add more pound signs. And I'll show you how that works. 
So there you go. So first here we have uh, my string and uh, somebody is saying ice to see you, which is uh, if you know this guy, that's where that quote comes from. And uh, but if we want to have, you know, we don't want to use uh, single quotes, we want to write double quotes, then the easiest thing is probably to use a raw string. So we do the R and then the uh, the number sign um, or the hashtag, I guess. Um, but let's say we want to actually write about, uh, you know, hashtags itself. So what you, if you want, uh, if you want Rust to ignore one hashtag, then you will need a minimum of two. So you have two on this side, two on this side. So that's saying uh, anything below two hashtags we're going to ignore. So it'll ignore this. It'll treat it as part of the string. And then here too, let's say we have a string with uh, three of them inside, then we can uh, we can have four over here and then four over here to end it. So it has three of them, so we need at least four. And then now we can uh, we can print them out. And here we got the the new line, new line, new line, and that says down here, "Ice to see you, ice to see you," with the uh, with the double quotes. And then you have here the uh, the hashtag there. And then the hashtag is also showing up here quite nicely. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at are bytes. Uh, you saw, so we have this R here. Uh, there's another one, another letter we can put in front, which is the letter B. And that will turn a string into bytes. So let's say you want to know, you want to uh, you know you want to know what the bytes are for a string. So let's take out the B first, <clears throat> and let's take out that. So here is just a regular a regular string. This will look like numbers. Okay. So we'll make it into a byte string with a B, and then it won't print it out here because of this thing we looked at before. We need debug print. So that's fine. We know how to do this, so we add uh, add the colon and the question mark to get some debug printing, and then we can see these are all the bytes for the characters inside this string here. I wonder what this looks like. This pretty printing. Yeah, this is the pretty printing I told you about before, where it lines it up a little bit nicer, and each uh, each value gets uh, gets a new. Uh, gets its own line. So that's how you print bytes. You just put a B on it and that's it. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of other ways to print. And I'm just going to go pretty fast through these because uh, you might or you might not need them. Um, but this is kind of interesting to, to know because remember we just saw that uh, you know, for debug printing, you have the colon and the question mark. And it looks pretty random, but there's actually a system to this. Uh, so you have the colon here, and let's say you change that to an X. This will actually print hexadecimal. So we have all these characters here. This is a Korean hang, this is an H, this is like a kyo or ka, and this is Japanese E. And, and you print them out by using this uh, this hexadecimal um, this uh, this system to print them out that way. And then there's another thing you can do. We just looked at uh, pointers in the last uh, in the last video and um, you know a pointer shows you the location of something in memory or a point yeah a pointer shows the computer where to find uh, something in memory and what you can do with a with a pointer is you can actually print out the the memory address itself and so once again instead of this or instead of this you change it to a p and then you print out the pointer so this shows that number nine the reference to it and this is on my computer every computer will be different is stored at the memory address, this one right here. 
So if you ever need to know that, this is how you print out the address of a pointer. And then there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. Binary, hexadecimal, octal, and you can see it's got the same format, colon, and then something, colon, something, colon, and then something. So there it is, there it is in binary, hexadecimal, octal. If you need to print that out, it's, uh, it's pretty easy in Rust.